So now we're going to take a look at how you can send and receive and reply to different types of emails. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this compose button that you see on the left. Now remember when I showed the other video um, or the very first one, the compose button was off to the right here a little bit. Um, and what that is, is it's this uh, um, icon here. And sometimes it'll look a little bit different to pace, based on which, um, which one you have, like everyone has Gmail, but you might have a different edition. So I was showing you a newer edition. So that pencil was kind of off, but you might have it that it's right at the top where it says compose. When you click on compose, your email is going to pop up on your screen. You can choose to and who you want to send it to. So let's say I want to send it to my, um, my, my counterpart here. So I'm going to put in their email and it will autofill for you too. Um, if you have it set up to do that. You don't have to do anything to make that happen. That's just something that happens in Gmail. And then I'm going to put in the, whatever the subject is. Now you might notice I have all of this information in here. I've set up a signature block, which I'll show you when we get to some of the later features. Um, but for right now, we're just gonna talk about entering in an email. So let me just move it out of your way. And I can say, you know, sample um, email sending. And then um, what you can do is then you can just click send and off it goes. If you don't want to send it right away, right next to the send button is a down arrow. You can schedule the send. When you click on that, you choose when you'd like to send it. You can actually pick a date and time by clicking on the calendar. So that is how you send a basic message. Now let's say I wanted to add something into this email. At the very bottom, you're going to see that I have options. I can change the format as far as the text that, and how it looks. I can attach files. I can insert a link, I can put in emojis, insert something from my Google Drive, insert a photo, or even insert a signature if I don't have one already in here. So let's say I go to attach a file. When I do that, it's going to pull up everything on my, uh, my laptop. I'm gonna click on this picture here just to show you. I click open and those items are gonna show up at the bottom. If I click on a link, it's going to say, what text do you want to put in? So maybe I wanna put in Wonderopolis and then the web address. So I'm gonna put in wonderopolis.org and click okay, and that link is going to go in. So you see that link appear at the top. If I click on the emoji, it's just going to let me search. So I can search happy, grab in whatever one I'd like. You can see that it shows up right there, right next to wherever I have my, my mouse um, clicker. And you can see of all of these different ones that you can choose and put in as you're going through. Next to the emojis, you have your insert file from Drive. So anything in your Google Drive that you wanna share, you can access it right from, your, um, right from your email. You can click right into your Drive. You can go into your shared Drive, shared with me, anything you've used recently, or you can upload something and grab it. You can have the option to insert it as an attachment or as a Google Drive link. So here's that matrix that I gave you. If I wanted to put it in as a drive link, I click drive link and then I click insert and that item is now listed in there. All right. So that is how you attach things to your email. And then right from there, when I'm ready, I can click send. Once I send, it goes off. I don't really need to send this to her. So I'm going to hit discard. Just as an FYI, you do have a three dot menu here with more options. You can create templates and labels right from here. I'm going to show you other ways you can do it, but just be aware that they're listed there if you'd like to set those up. Think of that as an advanced kind of act activity. All right, so we've sent an email. Let's say we wanted to open up an email and send it to somebody. So here, this is just the junk mail one, right? So I've got the simple 2K, but let's say I wanted to uh, respond to this for some reason. When I open the email up, you're going to see that all of these different icons come up at the top. Let's talk about them. I can archive the email. I can report it as spam. I can delete it. I can mark it as unread. And when I click that, it puts it back into um, my email or my Gmail. I can snooze it so that it comes back later. So when I click snooze, I can choose when I wanted to snooze to and then it will pop back into my inbox at that time. I can add it to tasks, which we'll talk about a little later. I can move it to something if I wanna move it to a different area and I can add a label. And that's what I'm gonna show you right here, adding a label. When I click on add label, I can create a new one or I can send it. So I'm gonna create a new label. I'm gonna call it simple 2K and I'm going to click create. 
So now the item will have this inbox label and the simple 2K label. And if I come over to the left and I scroll down to uh, S's, you'll see that I have a simple 2K category. All right, if I wanna remove it, I click the X and it would remove it. From the three dots menu, I can again do the same things that the icons allow me to do. Mark it as unread, but I can also mark it as important, add a star, create an event from it, filter messages like these, or mute this message. All right, I showed you a lot. So go ahead and take a, a some time, compose a message, add in links if you can, maybe even add in a label to be able to start to organize your email.